Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you're doing well out there behind the screen, out there in the interweb land. Um, but pretty much the whole song is G, 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 C, C, C. The thing with uh, in reggae music, on the guitar, you're playing the ands as far as the word a n d. Like if you're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm playing the offbeats of those numbers. Obviously, that's the most simplest way to play that reggae beat. Um, you could just strum it like a folk song. And completely get away from it all to uh, the reggae thing altogether. Or you can get even more reggae-ish with it. So I'm going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And then I'm switching to bar chords. And this is the you know a little more advanced way to play it solo guitar. And with the bar chord, whenever I relax my bar with the left hand, I get that percussive sound. So I'm just squeezing down one and two and three and four and and giving it a jiggy, 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 you know, just to add rhythm because I'm playing it by myself on acoustic guitar. And, uh, and so that's the other option. Now the bar chord here is I'm pressing down, and then this looks like an E shape, okay? So this is a G major bar chord. And then the C major bar chord looks like an A shape with my ring finger. So I'm barring that third fret, and then I've got the ring finger covering the fifth, fifth, fifth of this, uh, of the D, G, and B strings right there. Just like that. Now, the original recording is kind of in between G and, and A. Uh, you could actually, to really match it up to the recording, you could, I mean, there's a few different things you could do, but really, when I learned it by ear, I was playing it right here. So instead of the uh, third fret, bar chords, I was playing it on the 4th fret bar chords, and that will match up to the original recording. However, you can't do that open G to C, which a beginner is going to be able to pull off much easier uh, than a more experienced guitar player. If you're a more experienced guitar player, you could, you know, hopefully have just learned it on your own by listening, because it's pretty much two chords the whole song. Or, you know, you just come here and, and watch the video. But, here, here's what it is. I'm going... Another thing I was doing was check cut to jet 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 to jet 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 to jet 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 to jet jet. All right, hope you had fun with that. Keep it mellow, and hope to see you in another video real soon. Take care.